<laughs> but that's what makes me feel bad for my reflections. And that's why I put the earnest on us, because I feel like if we're first as the men, we're first. I believe that 100 percent. That doesn't mean more than. Because if I'm going to be the head, someone has to watch my back. If I'm going to protect everything that's in front, I need you to help protect everything that may come behind me. So I need to be strong to do my job. I need you strong to do yours. And just to even rock with the analogy like I, <laughs> you guys don't know every analogy I've ever said. I can go so much longer using that analogy. Just like I say, if I'm going forward, right, I'm leading to take on what comes before us. That's like tomorrow. So I have to move today to make moves to get to tomorrow. So I have to make moves to get to tomorrow. But every time I get there, it becomes today. And yesterday, I told you guys, yesterday, you can't go back. Yesterday are, are like memories. It's a source to pull from, to learn from. Yesterday cannot hurt you. No matter how bad it was when you were in yesterday, you're not there right now. I know it was tough. It's not belittling what it was. I know how strong a bad yesterday and a bunch of bad yesterdays. I understand how they can bother you. I'm a person that lives this. But what I'm telling you is, yeah, it was tough. But you are strong. So you can keep moving. And it's it's easier to do that with someone, in my opinion. So if my job is to go forward and protect and lead as you follow me, I believe that the reflections job, which is just as equal in that concept of moving forward, she's watching my back. That's everything that tries to come and hit me from behind. I think those are reflective of emotions. Because yesterday only exists in your mind. Those are memories. And sometimes we as men, you know, we may not handle our emotions that well. And that reflection helping you in your emotions can get you through things because it gives you the confidence in yourself to have faith to keep moving forward. That's progression. No matter what's in front of you trying to hold you back, if she's whispering in your ear, you can do it. It's going to make you believe you can even if you could. And enough faith in you and you being a God and you have all the power. She put that faith in you. That's a God giving you faith. You'll see how much power you really have. And I'm willing to believe more often than not, you can do it. But sometimes you need that other half to get you there. And I think that's just a part of existence. We are reflections of each other. We come together and we become something. And then we can come together together. And create something. That's how powerful we are. That's just man and one man. So if we are reflections of each other. We would have to be just as equal. In my opinion. I'm not here to fight anybody. You can believe what you want to believe. This is how I believe. So if you are a man or a male if you will. Not the bullshit males. Manipulating anyone listening every day. Not them type of males. I'm saying of the male species. So if you are of the male species, in my opinion, half the reflection, you need the other half. And as a male, I think the first one is your mother. I think I spoke about this before on one of the past episodes where I touched on it. I really didn't go deeply into it. I may do it when I do the parents episode, when I break down how I view the existence of being a parent and how important and the effects that you can have as a parent, in my opinion. Remember, this is all my opinion. I can't tell you. I know what the fuck I'm talking about. I'm just talking. <laughs> so imagine you're a little boy and you want to do something. Hey, mommy, I want to go do this. Oh, yeah, you can do that. You my baby. You can do that. That means so much to you. And I think it means so much to you because on a deeper vibration, it vibrates in your essence that your reflection this is your first experience with your reflection that you come from. You are a piece of them. So, I, you know what? I don't want to do that right now because I get off topic. But what I'm saying is it makes me feel a little. It can be a little saddening to think that that's what my reflection has to deal with, that they can't even get genuine in some cases. This doesn't apply to everybody. 
everybody isn't experiencing the same thing and I understand that some people get a different experience but I think it's tough I do think it's tough I kind of touch on it more on the the man or male episode question mark of course power in the question I touch on it I may definitely dive more into it I may do it with the parent episode I may make it an episode all to itself so it's not the concept that I spit some type of game while I'm this I'm the coldest with the even though I do think I'm nice with these words, but it's not about that. I think it's the concept that I'm just genuine and that genuineness. I think that that's it may be scarce. That may be a rarity. And I think it's for both sides, too. I trust me. I, I talk to guys, too, y'all, and um, they have a different experience, too. But how about this? I need to get, not need to, but I want to get to what I want to talk to about the message I get. And I could possibly talk about this in there, but just to sum this up, it's intriguing to say the least that being genuine is this amazing thing to my reflections. And that's how I seem when I come in contact with them on that, you know, on that type of level. So I just think if, you know, when you walk up, be more genuine. Hey, I, I like you. I think you're beautiful. She'd be, uh, what you want, boy? What you want from me? First off, I want to spend some time with you. I want to see if who you are is as beautiful as you look. And then what? And if it is, I'm going to want to spend time with you because being in the presence of my reflection makes me feel good. And, and then what you want to do, boy? But then I'm going to want to have some sex. I want to have some good time, but some sex. It's 24 hours in a day, baby. So sex probably going to be like 15 minutes. Let's be real. On average. Let's be real. Ain't nobody putting all them sessions in all the time. Get the fuck out of here. I wish a motherfucker would tell me that bullshit. Man, every time I go crazy. Nigga, shut up. That's what's good about relationships. You can phone it in sometime. She got to deal with that. You agreed to be here. Hey, hey, hey. That's all I got today. <laughs> but yeah, so out of that 15 minutes of that 24 hours. You about to make a full decision off that because that's what I want? Of course I want that. What the fuck? What the fuck? You think you don't like it? Is is that's what is that what's going on here? You talking to me like you don't like it. <laughs> and that's the thing. I don't think that they're mad at that in my experience and in my belief. I think it's simply because if you value that 15 minutes, even on our reflection, on either side, if you value that 15 minutes, are that 24 hours that much? Now, granted, we got hour sessions. We got two hours. That's three. Hours. We didn't, we didn't, we got them sessions too, but I'm saying on average, guys, <laughs> I got, I can feel a motherfucker over there like, we keep talking in 15 minutes. He better get his ass out of here. Nigga, I tell the pussy down. You understand me? I tell you down. <laughs> I get you. I get you, man. You're a killer. You got it. You the man. <laughs> but to value that of that 24 hours, like it's, more than what it is, it's just nuts to me. So when I go to a woman, I already have a mindset where it's, yeah, I want that 15 minutes. But what about the part of who you are? What about the connection we can have on who we are together? The things we can manifest and create to have fun with each other. Hey, I like to do this. Do you want to hear me talk about it? Yeah, I want to hear about your day. That bitch at your office tripping, ain't she? <laughs> Who's she talking to? Not my baby. She over there like, yeah, then the bitch think. <laughs> I'd be like, oh, shit, that's what the bitch think. Spending time with each other. To enjoy spending time with a person. Not anthropomorphizing a sexual organ. I think I just look at things differently. So maybe it's me being genuine, but I have knowledge of self. So I understand that I'm a God and to understand myself is to understand you, which means you must be a God for me to be one. So when I look at you, I look at you as something much more than just that sexual organ. So even when I come to you and tell you that's what I want from you, you're going to know that's not all that I want. And when you see that part, what I think happened is she wants to give that to me before I even ask. And I think. That's the whole little secret to my little success rate, if you will. But that's how.